I've got a question for you. Shall we play a game? In 1997, Garry Kasparov faced off against IBM's Deep Blue computer for a chess rematch. A year earlier, Kasparov defeated the computer four games to two, but in the rematch it was a different story and the computer beat the human. Deep Blue used a method called brute force, which is what most chess programs use. That means it evaluates every single possible move available on the board and then every single possible reaction to that move before making a decision. That's not how humans play. If we did play that way, games would last decades. Instead, we evaluate what's going on at the moment and then make a decision. And chess programs just don't do that. Until now. A researcher named Matthew Lai at the Imperial College of London has built a chess program called Giraffe. And Giraffe uses a neural network and learning algorithm to learn to play chess. It was actually taught the game, not programmed the game. To do this, Lai fed 175 million different chess positions to the computer system to teach it how to play, and then pitted Giraffe against itself in a series of games. And so game by game, Giraffe began to learn. It learned which positions are weak, which ones are strong, which ones open up vulnerabilities in your opponent's defense. And over the course of 72 hours, Giraffe got wicked good at chess. Now, Lai evaluated his system by using the strategic test suite, which is a way of judging how well a computer chess program performs. Before Lai actually trained up Giraffe, it was performing at 6,000 which actually isn't that bad. But after training, it boosted up to 9,700, putting it up against top computer chess programs, and it means it plays at an international master level. Giraffe looks at the entire board and examines the positions of the various pieces. It then considers the attack and defense abilities of the pieces and then makes a move. It's not projecting several moves ahead, it's looking at conditions right now, which is the way we tend to play games. Now, I'm not gonna go so far as to say that Giraffe is actually thinking like a person does, but it is processing information closer to the way our brains do than the way traditional computers do. All right, guys, I've got a question for you. Do you think there are any games that humans are always going to be the best at, or are computers destined to beat us eventually further down the line? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring our show and making it possible. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button, subscribe to Forward Thinking to join our think tank, and then make your next move by checking out these videos over here.